I'm Amy Luckowitz with the North Reading Community Impact Team podcast. Hey, North Reading. This is our first episode of the North Reading Community Impact Team podcast. And our goal for the podcast is just to keep the community informed about all of the projects and partnerships we have going on with the CIT. And so today we're going to be talking about our Federal Drug-Free Communities Grant. And I am super happy to let the community know, and hopefully you already knew, that um, just in August, North Reading was named as a recipient. And uh, this is especially good news for our community. We have received um, one, um, uh, six, well, I'm going to edit that. I don't know what I think. Okay. This is great for our community. This is uh, a grant that is going to fund $625,000 over the next five years, so $125,000 over the, uh, each year, for a number of substance prevention programs. And let me be specific that all of the funding from the federal grant has to go to youth prevention. So although the CIT <coughs> is very invested in uh, substance prevention programs related to all ages, veterans, elders, young adults, um, and everywhere in between. This state, I'm sorry, this federal grant can only be used for um, education related to 18 and under. So I want to make sure that we're clear about that. And already in the first year, we have our budget ready to go. And um, the first highlight is that our grant is going to fully fund a position in town It'll be um, a full-time position with benefits. This person is going to be the project director, and he or she will implement our 12-month action plan, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute. Uh, this position is currently being advertised, and we're hoping to have uh, a hire by November 1st. If we don't, then we are going to just continue till we find the best fit. If anybody has any uh, applicants out there and you want to send it to me, you can send it to northreadingcit at gmail.com. And um, hopefully we'll get uh, a great fit for our town. The other big line item for this grant in the first year is uh, about $20,000 for travel. The grant mandates that we travel about four weeks during the year for multiple people. In addition, it'll pay for several students to go and get education around this. We cannot do any of this work without investment from um, our young people. And um, although that price tag may seem a little bit high, and it certainly is, it's only for year one. Our travel requirements reduce for year one through, I'm sorry, two through five. Another great um, benefit of our grant is that we are going to be able to collaborate with other local coalitions from the area. So let me talk a little bit about what a coalition is. Ours in North Reading started about two years ago and it is a collaboration between um, representatives from a whole bunch of sectors and a couple of examples might be the school, um, nursing, parents, educators, students, police, uh, we have a representative from NORCAM, which is great. Phil is on our committee. And everywhere in between. And so the grant required us that we have a minimum of 12 sectors representative. And I'm happy to say that we have almost 20 members in our on our team. And so that was a really big benefit for us to have uh, a broader collaboration there. So that makes up the North Reading uh, Substance Free Coalition. Well, a whole bunch of towns around us also have these coalitions, so the grant encourages us to work with them. And what that allows us to do is learn from you know their programs, what worked for them, what didn't work for them, but also strengthen our community interactions. Drugs don't stop at our borders. They come across, and um, it's important that if we see trends in North Reading that we communicate that to our local neighbors as well and vice versa. So... Let's talk a little bit about a measurable goal. So year one, we have three uh, measurable goals, and the first is to increase community collaboration. I am publicly asking that if anybody wants to be a part of our coalition to contact me and um, let me know if you can make some of our meetings or even if you'd like to help out with some special events and education. The second is to specifically reduce youth substance use, and our grant requires that we report on four different substances. Alcohol use, tobacco use, marijuana use, and prescription drugs. We um, have to report on those four, but we are allowed to select additional substances to focus on. 
after receiving our data, we have decided that we are going to focus specifically on marijuana use and prescription drug use. And you might be asking why. Uh, why aren't we working on heroin? And the truth is that those two substances have been identified as precursors to heroin use. So it's really important that uh, we remember this is a prevention grant and um, we want to uh, make sure that we're tackling that appropriately. Although young people in our community are using heroin, it is not as prevalent as prescription drugs. And most of our uh, cases that we're seeing come through the police department specifically, before they go to heroin, they've been using prescription drugs. So again, this is all about prevention and uh, reducing the substance use. The third measurable goal is improving data collection strategies. This is our second time applying for the grant. The first time we applied for the grant, we knew that we were not strong in data collection. And so we have made this a goal of ours to make sure that we have a variety of quantifiable and qualitative data. So this might come from sources like the public schools, police records, uh, post-arrest interviews, hospital administration um, information related to overdoses, the North Reading uh, Fire Department giving us information on how many times they've administered uh, Narcan or responded to a substance-related uh, call. All of those um, pieces of data are very important to us, and we need to make sure that we have a consistent way of collecting all that. Um, let's see. The other thing I wanted to talk about briefly is how we're going to do this. So the grant mandates that we utilize what's called the seven strategies for community change, and they include providing information and education, enhancing skills, providing support, enhancing access and reducing barriers, changing consequences, physical design changes, and seventh, modifying and changing policies. So our 12-month action plan, which I referred to before, has to demonstrate all seven of these strategies throughout all of our three measurable goals. And so um, I worked alongside Chief uh, Michael Murphy on developing this uh, action plan, and I'm very happy to let you know that it was accepted by the, um, by the federal reviewers. The benefit to the person who's going to be taking over this job is they almost have a 12-month step-by-step plan by month about what they need to do. So um, I hope nobody is intimidated by taking on a large federal grant, but it's the year one is pretty much laid out along with year one's budget. Um, let me talk about the, our timeline. So we are hoping to receive funds in the next month or so, and by October 1st, I mentioned hire the program coordinator. We're also looking to hire a youth media, uh, youth social media coordinator. This position is a stipend position that will work alongside the program coordinator to make sure that we are consistent in our messaging and using social media platforms to get information out, not just to young people, but to families in general. Um, again, if anybody would like to apply for that, you may email me at northreadingcit at gmail.com. Um, around early December, uh, the first travel has to happen. It will have to be myself um, as the program manager and also the new person we hire. We'll have to go to the National Coalition Academy in Washington, D.C. for about four days. Um, this is mandatory for anybody in the entire country or any coalition in the entire country who is receiving this grant. So it's great to kind of meet everybody else in, who's in the same boat as us, exchange ideas, and learn more about the requirements um, related to reporting. The last... Um, thing I'll mention on our short-term timeline is mid-December, and that's when we're going to establish baseline survey data um, in partnership with North Reading Public Schools. This is when we'll begin to collect our baseline data related to those four specific substances, prescription drugs, marijuana, alcohol, and tobacco, and creating a baseline is going to be very important to be able to measure if we are successful in our strategies or not. Um, if anybody has any questions related to our grant or if you would like to participate or apply again, please email me, northreadingcit at gmail.com. And um, I'm looking forward to our next podcast being introducing everybody to our new program coordinator. <music>